Oh god, that looks terrible. How we doing, guys? What a game we have set up for today. Holy crap. This game will decide who's the worst team in the comp. That will set up. Big game, though. Brisbane v Collingwood at the Gabba. The traditional Thursday night um, Easter Thursday game, but... This one has a little bit more ramifications on it than the usual one. So the players are just having their final warm-ups now, guys, and the game is about to begin probably in the next minute or two. Now is just going in for the um, coin toss. Game is pretty close to starting, guys. So, big game tonight, guys. Starting at round three. With the Easter long weekend. Thank God I get the day off tomorrow. Yay me. Sorry to everyone who has to go back to work. Suck shit. <laughs> nah, not really. So the game is about to start, guys. I think I've got everything sorted. Yep. As good as it's going to get, let's be honest. Alrighty, guys. The grand final rematch. Can Brisbane get revenge? Or can Collingwood finally get their season underway with their first win? Big game tonight. Bounce goes down. Here we go. Both Ruckman miss it. Free kick's been ripped out. It's going to go to... Brisbane. So Brisbane will get the free kick out of the middle of the ground. McInerney will take it. Takes the advantage. McInerney goes long with the kick inside the forward 50. Danaher in front. 1-2. Couldn't bring it down though to Goey. Got out the handball. Out to Quainor. He just clears it outside the defensive 50 for the moment. Zorko. Good mark there. Locks it inside the forward half here for the Lions. Got a couple of options. Looks like he's going to go long into the pocket. But Darcy Ford coming across there. Well done with there from Berry. Rainer. Good gather. Tackled well there. And he's yet pin holding the ball. So a free kick's going to go to Darcy Moore holding the ball. Great little bit of defensive pressure shown early by Collingwood. So Darcy Moore wanted to go on the outer side here. High and long, looking for Mason Cox. Brought it down to ground. Neil gets off the handball to Lester. Free kick's been ripped out here. It's going to go Collingwood's way. So Cox gets the free kick. Starting in the ruck tonight. Darcy Cameron starting on the bench. Interesting call. So Mason Cox just goes to the low ball down the wing. For the Flyers. Mychek brought it to ground well. Now to Goey. Picks it up off the left boot. Just tumble punt inside the 450. Bobby Hill at the back. Takes a good mark. Well, the last game he played against the Lions. 
He won himself the Norm Smith. He can get Collingwood off to the perfect start here, Bobby Hill. Little bit of fortune there with that play. To, to go, he just slammed it on the boot, and Bobby Hill was just out the back. But fortune favours the brave here. So Bobby Hill, about 20 metres out, not much angle to speak of, comes in, stabs it a little, but it's straight through the middle, and Collingwood off to the perfect start. So good start there for Collingwood. So really good job there from Collingwood. A couple of long kicks down the line, but what they haven't been able to do, which they've done here, is compete in the air and bring it to ground for their smalls to go to work. And they've done really well there to get the ball forward. Bobby Hill on the board early. So back in the ruck, McInerney wins it down. McRae gets the clearance here for Collingwood. First time he's starting for the season. Lipinski brought it to ground, couldn't bring it with him though. McCluggage comes in hard. Pendlebury locked the arm up nicely. Umpire circles and he's going to ball it up. So Finlay McRae, first start tonight, straight in the middle after the first goal. Cox with the knockdown, good 20 metre fist, Lester thumps it back, Dacos got worried out of it, plays for the free, didn't get it, Dunkley couldn't get the kick away, did want to get a handball though to Zorko, kicked down towards the centre half forward, Dano couldn't mark, well done there from Frampton, low ball finds Majacek, would have been harder to miss in there Majacek, he decides to go long inside the forward 50, McGuinness couldn't mark, great effort there from Lester going back. Takes a good mark. Now Lester plays on. Under pressure. Low ball. Nice kick. Finds Berry in the back pocket. And they want to go on the outer side here, Brisbane. Cameron on his own. Takes a good mark. Got a few options here. He has Hipwood on the lead. Finds him nicely. Now Brisbane come to a halt. Haven't been that... Powerhouse forward line of the last few weeks. Obviously at the bye last week. He does find Dunkley though. Just outside the 450. Goes in short. Pushing the back almost against McCluggage. Kind of played for it. And then fisted away there from Darcy Moore. And he gets pinned deliberate. So a free kick's going to go to Brisbane inside the right forward pocket. Berry's going to take it. Not a known goal kicker, Jared Berry. But he looks like he's setting himself up for the goal. Very important player, Jared Berry. Always finds himself in the team. Tough nut midfielder. Really tough kick though here for Barry. He looks pretty confident. He decides to set it up though to the top of the goal square. McInerney goes up, couldn't bring it down. Over the shoulder from Rayner! And he's got it! Great finish from Cam Rayner and Brisbane are on the board. Well, nice... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. They're going to review it. I'm about to call it a goal. He's asking if it hit the post. Quainor didn't touch it. Po That's nowhere near the post. Fucking hell. Yeah, that was a waste of time. There's nowhere near the post. I mean, I understand the umpire couldn't have really seen it. Because he was not in the perfect position, the ball snapped quickly at goal. But I mean, for fuck's sake, we don't. I feel like that that was a waste of twenty seconds. But whatever. It was a nice goal from Cam Rayner in the end, though. So both teams get a quick goal. Obviously, both teams needing the win tonight. I think it's the first time ever that two grand finalists have gone this far into a season without a win. So Darcy Cameron into the ruck now for first time tonight. Not the best defence there from Collingwood, I'm going to be honest. They wouldn't have let that go through late last year. A little bit too easy there for Cam Rayner. But he did his job. So back in the middle. 
Cameron wins it down, fighting hard. Neil did well. Obviously missed last week. Fame the give and then goes long with the kick. Two on one here. Collingwood's favourite, Darcy Moore. From three deep, fists it away. Ricochet's outside the defensive 50 for the moment. Archie, happy to take it out of bounds. So just outside the forward 50 if the Lions. Umpire throws it in again. Cameron with a ruck one. Mitchell, good tackle on Dunkley and a bit another stoppage. Collingwood high on the d pressure earlier. Already had seven tackles. Dugowie tried to tap it towards Dacos. Left it behind now. Lockie Neal out of the team last week. Just misses to the right-hand side. Looked pretty clean early though, Lockie Neal. So it looks like Nick Dacos going to take the kick in here. Get a couple of early touches. Inside out. Kick was terrible. Dugowie went in hard and took the ball and took on a couple of players. Did really well. Hamble to Lipinski. Now Cox running through the midfield. Doesn't look like he has many options. Gives it off to Dugowie who just handballs it forward 30 metres. Turned it over. Staskovic to Zorko. Under pressure here, Brisbane. Bobby Hill chasing hard. Couldn't get there. The Lions running themselves into heaps of trouble. Zorko goes to ground. Just tapped it clear. Found Staskovic. And somehow the Lions get away with it. Dunkley clearing ball. Two on two on the wing. McInerney went up hard. Did really well. Beat Dacos to the ball. And Dacos dove back on it. Could be in trouble. Just got it out of there. Pendlebury. Smooth mover. Goes inside. Terrible kick though. And Archie cuts it off. In the middle of the Gabba. Lions have the football. They go inside the forward 50. Cameron with a little bit of a push. And Jeremy Howe with a little bit of a ricochet off his face. Takes a good mark. Collingwood want to go immediately though. Lipinski. Low ball, finds Mitchell. Usually pretty good with, with the use, Tom Mitchell. Goes his full measure now and goes inside the forward 50. Out the back, Bobby Hill's a chance. Payne taps it towards his own advantage and he's happy to see it out of bounds. So forward pocket here for the, for the Magpies. So inside Collingwood's forward 50. McInerney knocks it down. Dunkley got a handball away, but it gets to Collingwood's favour. Mitchell, Elliot couldn't get the kick away. Cox somehow got it on the boot. Too wide, though, and he gets Collingwood's first blemish of the night. So in short to Fletcher. Back pocket here for the Lions. Now Zorko. Been one of their better players, Dane Zorko, in their first few weeks. Long down the wing. Good find. Harris Andrews got in front. Had the numbers there, the Lions. But again, they don't really have a lot of options now. So he just has to go in short to Charlie Cameron. Oh, inside kick was terrible to no one. And now to go, he can make them pay. An absolute mongrel going inside the forward 50. Payne and my check chasing hard. Great tackle from Payne. Did really well. And now Sarskovic has all the time in the world just to... Turn a little 360 and then hand it out wide to Archie. In with a short kick. Good hands from Rayner. Oh, Rayner's kick's turned over. McQuarrie cuts it off. Breaks past Archie. Blows him aside. Off to Dacos. Outside handball to Josh Dacos. He wanted to go outside. Back inside with a low dart. Couldn't hit his teammate. Lester goes in hard. Takes, a, takes the ball. Takes possession. It'll be a ball up inside Collingwood's forward 50. Couple of terrible turnovers early in this game. So it's inside Collingwood's forward 50 now. Cameron and McInerney going at it. Neither Ruckman could get to it. Cameron just throws a boot at it. Ricochets into the pocket. Majacek just slaps it towards Pendlebury. Gets it on the boot. Fletcher. Good tackle from Majacek. Another stoppage. Did really well there, Majacek, with that tackle. Fletcher tried to almost shrug it high. But he did really well to lock the arms in. Really high pressure so far from Collingwood. Cameron knocks it down. Fletcher overruns it. McQuarrie comes through nicely. Hamble's over there. Elliot. And he won't miss. Jamie Elliot gets their second of the evening. Oh, another fucking review. Bro, you're in the best position on the fucking field. He celebrated, didn't he? 
Okay, I'm telling you right now, bro. Neither, none of those three angles are going to tell you what happened. You just got to go to Snicko. There we go. It wasn't it? Didn't hit it. So it's a goal to Collingwood. They get their second of the night. So Collingwood with the hot start. Just a little bit too easy with that goal once again. Just another easy goal there. So back in the middle though. Cameron and Ford in the ruck for the first time. Knocks it down. McRae gets a high ball just outside the centre square. Goes out wide. Good work there from Fletcher. Took a good mark. Went to go out wide. Decided to go in short instead. Finds Answorth. Long kick down the wings. A dangerous one. And how cuts it off. Immediately looks in the middle of the ground. Doesn't have many options though. He now points that he's going to go right into the middle of the ground. It's another terrible kick. Archie cuts it off again. So now Brisbane. They have to make them pay here. Collingwood have been terrible so far in the first few games of the season with their turnovers in, the, in their defensive half. And they've already done a couple tonight. McCluggage kicked down the wing towards half forward. Sorry to Berry. Got a free kick for his troubles. Gives it off to Wilmot. Who goes from 60. Long ball to the top of the goal square. They've got the numbers. Danaher couldn't mark. Playing onto the call. Got very unlucky. Danaher. And Noble runs away with it. He finds his captain in Moore. He calls play on now. Moore. Gives it off to Maynard. They work it through here. the Pies. Now Noble wants to go for a bit of a run. Barry slangs him to the ground. Does really well. Dunkley's handball to Fort and Fort turns it back over. Pendlebury's kick inside on the bounce to Elliott. If he picks it up there away. Free kick has been given to Collingwood downfield. So it'll go to Jamie Elliott. That's a free. And his arm held and he's just... Oh. Bit unlucky there anyway. Elliot gives it back off to Maynard, who wants to drive it long inside the forward 50. My check out the back. Good fist. Coming across there was Darcy Fort. Sport it through for a behind. So Wilmot will take the kick in here for the Lions. They've done this, I think, every single time... Well, they've done it both times so far. They've gone short to Fletcher, and he's had to go long down the line because they've locked him into his back pocket. I oh, did well to step past Schultz. Made him look a little bit embarrassed. Gives it off to Bailey. Doesn't really have an option, so he just has to slam it on the boot. Bouncing ball. It was really hard to control, and now Danaher breaks past 60. Gives off the handball. Oh, he left it behind Robertson. He went hard to try and get back to it, but that was really unfortunate there for the Lions. Low kick there from here. Cut off well. Mark by McCarthy. God, the disposal in this game so far has been a couple of absolutely terrible mistakes. So McCarthy's kick inside, misses his teammate. Neil tries to mop it up. Rayner, back over the top to Wilmot. He's usually pretty good with the ball. Goes long inside the forward 50. Hipwood, 1-2, got it. No, not paid. Off the ground was Archie. Couldn't get it away. Quainor, Cameron, and now Noble. In short. And he finds Josh Dacos. They can take a breath here. He wants to keep going, though. He goes short back to Noble. Noble over the top to Nick Dacos. And he keeps going. Finds Tom Mitchell. So they've worked up to the wing now, the Pies. Mitchell wants to work it back inside. Josh Dacos. He's got Nick Dacos in short. And now they want to switch the play. He's got a teammate out wide. It's Hoskin Elliott who takes the mark. Defensive side of the wing. 
on the commentary side. Doesn't have a lot of options, though. So he's just going to have to work it short to how terrible kick. Missed him completely. Holy Christ. Holy fuck, this game. <laughs> this game disposal has been terrible early. From the ruck, Cameron. Tried to get rid of it. Did well, Mitchell Lipinski. Now McRae, free kick's been ripped out here. It's going to come back and it's going to go to Brisbane. So a free kick. Gone to Lockie Neal. Oh no, it's going to go to Ford. I think I'd rather have it in Lockie Neal's hands. But anyway, a bit unlucky there. So Darcy Ford, likely probably just going to go along, I would say. Which eventually decides to do. Two on one here in Collingwood's favour. Darcy Moore just shoved Hipwood out of the way. He goes down like a sack of spuds. And now Collingwood working through the middle. Pendlebury off to Dacos. Inside the forward 50. Nice looking kick. Couldn't mark it, McGuinness. Ricocheted nicely for McGuinness to run onto it. And he jams it home. So Collingwood have got a couple more now for their last two. Just again, another easy goal. Easy transfer from defensive 50 to forward 50. Not much pressure on Brisbane, at, on, on Collingwood at all. And a nice finish from McGuinness. He's actually done really well. He's been one of their few shining lights so far this season. Kicked three last week. And he's already got one tonight. Cox from the tap down. Mitchell got the handball nicely off to the goalie. Off his left boot. Goes towards the wing. Did well Fletcher to control for the moment. McQuarrie dragged him down, just got a kick away. And now Collingwood can go on the rebound. Mitchell sends a high ball inside the forward 50. Good work there from Payne. Took a good intercept mark. So now Payne looking to go long down the wing. Archie's the option. Two on one. Maynard stands in front, took a good mark. Just in bounds. I don't know about that. Couple of Brisbane fans not too happy with that decision nonetheless. Maynard goes towards 50. Stands under it. Cameron nearly dragged it down too. But Andrew's happy to see it out of bounds. So eight and a half minutes to play in this first quarter. Collingwood got the three goals, two, 20 to Brisbane, one goal, one. So Fort brings it down. Neil overran it. McRae tapped it towards his teammate. Missed him. Did well there, Fletcher. Bailey shrugs off one tackle. But he's going to be pinned for that. Wasn't paid. Fighting hard there is Neil. No, free kick has been ripped out. I thought it was. So free kick's going to go to Mitchell. He's had a pretty good start, Tom Mitchell. Great pressure from Collingwood so far. So Mitchell on the wing. High ball back inside the 450 once again. Brisbane have the numbers fisted down though. Finds McQuarrie. And this would really hurt the Brent Lions. He's hooked it. Not enough though. Almost got a high one too, McQuarrie, on the way through. So now Berry. Wants to go along with the kick. Rain is the option. Went up. <laughs> but took out more on the process. Cox got paid the mark though. Maynard in short. Dacos, usually pretty good with it. Top of the goal square, he goes. Cameron in there, couldn't bring it down. Throw that away there from Dunkley. Should have been pinned, wasn't. McQuarrie, tackled well there by Robertson. It'll be a ball up. Was it Wilmot? No, it was Wilmot. He absolutely threw that away there, Wilmot. He got lucky then. So about 30 minutes out from Collingwood's goal. They've had a lot of the territory in the last 10 minutes. Fort wins it down. Bailey got tackled well there by Mitchell. So Cox will tap forward. Wilmot happy to just clear the ball and got a little bit lucky there. McCarthy takes the mark at centre-half back. 
But their forward structure is completely washed at the moment. So he's just going to have to wait. He goes out wide to Berry. Waits for his troops to get forward. Again, doesn't have many options though. So he just has to work it back inside. Finds Bailey. And Bailey goes into the middle of the, the Gabba and finds Wilmot. Again, they just don't have many options. Being in the center of the Gabba, he should have an option to go along there. Great work there from Collingwood with the defensive structure to get back. The kick goes long out the back. Rayner couldn't bring it with him. How? Almost held in. Did well, though, there, Collingwood. Now Elliot clearing kick. Goes towards McGuinness. Couldn't bring it down. Brisbane have the numbers here. Starskovich off to Archie. High ball back inside the forward 50. Sitting under it is Hipwood. Couldn't bring it down. Ricochets off to Rayner. Who dribbles one towards goal. And Will Hoskin Elliott slaps it through for a behind. Chance there for Brisbane to go is begging. Rayner probably needed to keep that in the air. But now Noble take the kick in. Goes in short. He finds how. So just around six and a half minutes in this first quarter. How wanting to go long towards the wing. Cameron is there. Starskovich couldn't bring it down. Cox tried to handball it inboard, but Andrews cut that off quickly. Back to Ford, who just kicks it inside the forward 50 with the bounce. Cameron tried to slam it to advantage, couldn't do so. Elliott did well to get back there. Handball from Maynard with, wasn't the greatest. The kick ricocheted towards Noble, who did well. And he goes out the back to Frampton, and now Hoskin Elliott. Right on the defensive 50. Elliot working really high up the ground at the moment. Getting back into the defensive 50 to help his team out. Now he's at half back taking the mark. He goes back to Oscar and Elliot. Couldn't grab it. Got a high one there, Zorko. And he'll get the free. So Zorko gets the free. Goes for the kick towards 50. Good kick finds Bailey. He almost played on out of bounds. It should be pl it should be a free kick, I think. Not uh, sorry, an out of bounds called. Nonetheless, dribbling ball inside the forward fifty. Cameron couldn't grab it. Quayna got held without it, and he'll get a free kick. So Isaac Quayna has the football. He's looking to go long on this commentary side wing. High ball. Cameron and Cox are both there. Neither went up. Fort probably should have marked it. Just happy to fist it out of bounds. Interesting start to this game. Collingwood are in front by just over two goals, but haven't really dominated too much, to be honest. And a lot of te both teams are making a lot of turnovers. Umpire whips it in back again. Cox wins it down. McCluggage got tackled well there by Mitchell. Being good so far, Tom Mitchell. Both Ruckman tussle up. Both of them hold and free kicks going Collingwood's way. So Mason Cox will take the free. So he's got Dacos in short. He goes there now. It wasn't 15, so he has to play on. High ball down the wing. Bobby Hill in a one-on-one. -on -one. Answorth did well. Knocked it out of bounds. So just under five minutes to play in the first quarter. <clears throat> So back in the ruck, four wins it down to Gully. Breaks past one, did really well, has some space. Goes with the long ball inside the forward 50. Didn't really look though, and Sarskovich happy to cut it off. So now Brisbane want to go back on this side of the wing. Finds Zorko. He's probably been Brisbane's best so far. Went to play on, then realised he almost got himself in trouble. So he gives it out to Answorth. Long ball down the wing, up goes Danaher. Couldn't bring it down. McCluggage overran it. Mitchell just got the hands free to Elliott. Little soccer off the ground, couldn't get it out of there. Frampton just got boot to pull somehow. Volleyball spike forward there from Mitchell only as far as Bailey. Now Starskovich about to get shut down, almost got just got rid of it. Now McCarthy to Zorko. Inside kick is so dangerous. Went in hard there, Wilmot. Zorko off the ground. Just got a little bit of meterage. Neil held without it for the moment. He's been pinholed on the ball. Good pressure from Collingwood. So Quainor has the free kick. Brisbane trying to make something work, trying to get the ball forward, but they just can't do so. The pressure of Collingwood's too immense. Long kick inside the forward 50. McGuinness couldn't bring it down. Now Answorth out the back to Leicester. He's happy to see it out.
The buyer throws it in again. Fort gets the front spot, smacks it down. Cox coming through. Just brought the ball with him in the pocket. A little bit of space for him to work into. Kicks it back inside. Fort almost threw that out. Should be pinned and he is. So Bobby Hill will get the free kick here for Collingwood. Dangerous play to have the football in the pocket. So Bobby Hill will get the free kick. Good pressure again from Collingwood. Just grabbed the arm when Fort went to go handball it. And he threw it away. So Bobby Hill a chance here for his second. Looks like he's going to go with the left foot snap here. Takes his full time. Snaps on goal and he just gets it home. So he's got two and Collingwood have their fourth. So just under three minutes to go on the first term. McInerney wins it down. Rayner should get there first. He does. Cox tracking him down. Just got the handball forward. Bailey just let it go. Now Dagoe did well. Josh Dacos inside to Pendlebury. He wants to give it off to Nick Dacos. They're working through hands here. The Pies. Maynard couldn't bring it with him, but tapped it forward. Now Noble breaks past 50. Low ball towards goal. Pushing the back against Hill. Oh, he didn't get it paid. I'll have to look at that again. I have to look at that one again. I thought it was going to be paid because Answorth went down pretty quickly. I thought the whistle went before it, but a good, good play there from Bobby Hill if he's done the body work nicely there. He's already got two. Very dangerous start from him. So Bobby Hill straight in front shouldn't have too many issues here, and kicks the goal. So he's got three in the first quarter. We know how much and we know how much damage this guy can cause. I want to see that again, though. Oh, here we go. So, are they even going to show it? Can you show us the... Oh, whatever. They're not going to show us. Good on fucking Channel 7. You fucking suck. Anyway. Cox with the tap down. Fighting hard there is Dacos. Just let it go for the moment. McInerney taps it towards Wilmot. Did well now. Rayner. Handball off to Berry. They're working through hands. Neil out the back to... Rayner who goes inside the forward 50. Danaher has some time. Snaps towards goal. It's bending. But hasn't got enough time to bend all the way back. So now Howe wants to go long down the wing. Cox is there. One, two, couldn't bring it down. Nick Dacos just got the jams on the boot. Tumbling ball towards the wing. McGuinness couldn't bring it in front of him. Andrews just let it go. Should be pinned for that. Wasn't paid. The umpire calls for it. Just over a minute to go in this first quarter. Colling would have done really well so far. High on the pressure. They've kicked five goals. Three of them courtesy of Bobby Hill. Had a really good start. Cox won it out the... Out towards the wing, Wilmot. Great hands. Finds Fletcher. Went for the handball and then realised he should just get it inside the forward 50, sitting under it as how. Good play there from Fort to bring it to ground. Didn't hold it long enough. Now Matt McCarthy. Off to Lockie Neal. Towards the goal square. 
And Frampton sits under it, takes a good mark. So Frampton goes in short to Noble. He's had a pretty good start, John Noble. Down to Quainer. I think Collingwood would be pretty happy to take this lead in a quarter time. Don't think I'll take too many more risks here. So Quainer goes long and high towards the wing. Andrews in front, couldn't bring it down. Payne, little handball off to Zorko. Couldn't really gather it properly. Now Answorth ran himself into a bit of trouble. Good handball, though, to find Robertson. And they work it through hands here, the Lions. Now Zorko sends it inside the forward 50. One last chance in the first quarter. Bailey sits under it. Went for the chest mark and completely missed it. Pendlebury out the back to Frampton. Noble. Pendlebury. Handles it forward looking for someone. But Zorko happy to take it out of bounds. Five seconds to go in this first quarter. Maybe a late chance here for the Lions. Right now, other than Dane Zorko, there hasn't been many contributors for Brisbane so far. The umpire throws it in again. McCarthy went. McInerney wins it down. Tried to grab it. There was Dunkley. And the siren blows for quarter time. Brisbane, a lot of questions to answer after that pretty poor first quarter. Collingwood played brilliantly. They lead it. 5-3-33 to the Lions. 1-3-9. Yeah, other than Zorko, right now, I don't think Brisbane have anyone much better. Anywhere near him at this stage. That was a terrible first quarter from Brisbane. I mean, look at it. Like, Charlie Cameron only had two touches. Uh, Joe Danaher only had two as well. Eric Kipwood's yet to touch it. So none of their forwards are getting involved. Collingwood, on the other hand, had a lot of players going well. Bobby Hill obviously would be best in that first quarter. Tom Mitchell was brilliant, had eight touches. John Noble was pretty good. Josh Dacos was brilliant. Uh, Jeremy Howe was pretty good as well. You know, Jamie Elliott working up the ground. You don't see that much from him, so that was good to see. Great start from Collingwood. All right, I'm just going to get a quick drink, guys. Just give me a second. You're just not going to sit there, are you? Hi, you dog. Hello. Oh. So we had nine votes so far. Brisbane over 56% who's going to win this game. And Collingwood have 44. So I think that's what, four and five? I think a lot of people came in first to vote for Brisbane but then saw that Collingwood had a good lead early.
probably just a few more minutes, guys. We'll be back for the second term. Oh. Ooh, my dick. Good. <clears throat> So players moving back to their position, guys, for the second term. Here we go, guys. Players back into position. The second quarter is about to get underway. Collingwood had a brilliant first term. They kicked five goals to one. They've kicked the last four goals of this game as well. Brisbane really need a lift, especially around the middle. They need a lift in pressure. Because Collingwood have brought it tonight. So here we go. Second term underway. McInerney with the tap down. Neil had a pretty good star handball out the back towards Dunkley. Good tackle from Mitchell. My boy's going to call for it again. Probably a bit unlucky there, Lockie Neil, maybe not to get a high one. Nonetheless, went through the legs of the goalie, McRae, tackled well there from Dunkley, a couple of stoppages to start proceedings in the second term. For uh, McInerney, a little tap down towards Archie out the back, Zorko, now Lester. Got to be better with the ball use in this second term. Out wide with a nice kick, actually. Finds McCarthy. McCarthy got a couple of options. He just works it in short. They went about 10 metres, but Dunkley's happy to claim it. This is the kick, though. The kick inside the forward 50. They haven't been able to use it so far. High ball inside the forward 50. Danaher's the hope. Couldn't bring it down. Robertson just out of his reach. Dacos couldn't get the ball out of there. Archie, Hipwood. Now Neil could smother there from Howe. Maynard slapped it forward towards Schultz, and now Dacos happy to be taken over the line by McCarthy. <laughs> so slap down towards Neil. He's got a handball option. Goes underground, finds McCluggage. McCluggage went on his left inside the forward 50 with a low ball. Rayner brings it to the ground. Did well, Noble. Handled it to Dacos, who just did a look away. Nothing handball. And now Archie pin for a throw. He's not happy with it at all, but it's not going to change the umpire's mind. So Mitchell gets the free kick. That's a throw, yeah. Good decision from the umpire. <laughs> the tackling pressure of Colling has been really good so far. Noble and now Nick Dacos, just outside the defensive 50. Back to Noble. That's gone five metres, umpire. Whatever. <laughs> now Noble takes his full measure and goes long. Cox is the option. A little push in the back. Did really well. It was legal, but then he got tagged down by Zorko. He's been so good so far, Dane Zorko. Oh, he's kicking sides a bit dangerous. And McCluggage stood up to it. He wants to give it back to him. Decided that wasn't the best option. Now McCluggage with a low ball down the wing. Not the greatest kick. Neil made it look okay. Back to McCluggage who kept on running. Sends it inside the forward 50. 2 and 1 in the Lions' favour. McCarthy didn't want to bring it to ground. Now they have a bit of chance. McInerney off to McCarthy. Low ball into the pocket. Out of the grasp of Fort. Lipinski did okay and then took it out of bounds. Had a couple of chances here. The Lions early in his second term. Odd kick from McCarthy going forward though into the pocket. Maybe it may have thought the Fort was on the lead, but... 
I didn't even think Usain Bolt would have made that sort of ground. So back in the ruck. Fort slaps it towards the top of the goal square. Hoskin Elliott takes it. Little handball off to Dacos with a kick, kick towards Shaw's. Bit of a suicide kick. To, made it hard for him and Dunkley came across. Fisted it out of bounds. So Brisbane, a lot of the territory in the first few minutes of the second term. They need to put it on the scoreboard though. So Cameron takes it out of the rock. Good smother there from Neil. Did really well. Off to Dunkley who kicks it towards goal. Goes out of bounds once again though. So Brisbane locking it in here. So 17 and a half minutes. Still to go in this second term. Brisbane had the first few minutes of territory. Fort tried to slap it forward. Completely missed the ball. Robertson. Another stoppage. So what, about 25 metres out from the Brisbane goal. Little tap down, Neil coming through, couldn't bring it with him. Stuck a foot out there, McCarthy couldn't get rid of it. How? Drag down there, Cameron, let it go. Got a bit lucky. Neil fighting hard, ricochets off to How. Handball to Frampton, completely let it go. Danaher puts him under a lot of pressure, going in hard, couldn't bring it with him. And How, having to escort it over the line for a point. So Brisbane definitely lifting the pressure early in the second. So Brisbane about to turn it over again. Dunkley, little handball off to Leicester. High ball towards Rayner. Did the stand step nicely on McRae. Little ball into the pocket. Finds Lockie Neal. Great work from Brisbane. So Lockie Neal in the pocket. Tough angle, but I think the experience here needs to take the take full charge. Take the responsibility. Take the responsibility, Lockie. <laughs> Went to go with a short kick, but decides now to take his time. They really need this to the Lions. The first goal of the second term. Neal comes in, holds that right goal post, fades back beautifully. Great finish from Lockie Neal. And the Lions get the first of the second term. Don't know why he doubted himself to begin with. That was a great kick. So a good start to the second quarter here for the Lions. Just another terrible disposal. That one from what Will Hoskin Elliott. Both teams have made some terrible mistakes so far in this game. And it's cost both teams goals. I don't really know if I think that, Joel. He went to go past it. And then he was like, oh, hang on. So back in the middle once again. Little tap down from Cameron. Free kick ripped out. It's going to go... Brisbane's way. Yes, it will. I'll go to McCluggage. He wants to give it to Zorko. Eventually he does. Who wants to drive it back inside that forward 50? Players form. It's at the back. Towards McCarthy. Couldn't bring it with him. Coming through hard. There was McInerney. Did really well off to Fort. Handball backwards towards Rayner. Breaks the tackle. Gives it off to McCluggage. He feigned the give. Chance for a big finish here from Hugh McCluggage. Just goes wide. They're playing some blistering footy at the moment. Brisbane, they definitely got a rev up from Fags in the quarter time break. So now Collingwood need to settle a little bit. So Maynard, with the kick in here, takes his full measure, goes long, Payne standing in front, did well there, might check to bring it to ground, then gathered it well, inside to Pendlebury. Just done really well there, Pendlebury. A lot of talk about his career continuing over the week. He's done really well so far in this one. Out wide to Elliott. Inside kick. Finds Mitchell. Been one of the best so far, Tom Mitchell. It's a true center wing. Goes in short. Finds Maynard. And he wants to go. 
Drives it inside that forward 50 with a low penetrating kick. Gets at the back of McGuinness. Wilmot and McQuarrie fighting hard. Wilmot went to ground. Mc... McGuinness got the ball off his toe, I think, but it's going to be called a free kick anyway to Brisbane. So Wilmot gets the free kick. Can Brisbane go from D50 to forward 50 now? So Barry, long ball towards Fort. Did well to bring it to ground. Front to keep his feet. Immediately gives it off to Bailey. Good distribution there. Finds Cameron. Right in front of the Brisbane interchange gates. He takes his time. Doesn't have a lot of options. Goes on the left boot. High ball towards Hipwood. Maynard gets their terrible spoil. McCarthy couldn't gather it. Maynard's handball went straight into Bailey's leg. Archie. Ball towards the top of the goal square, but it's all Collingwood. Mitchell gives it off to Dacos. Takes a bounce. Low ball finds Hoskin Elliott. Now Pendlebury. So just taking some time here, Collingwood. Tough kick. Did really well there. I was going to let take a mark there. Finds Lipinski. Been a shining light so far in this season for Collingwood. Lipinski. Obviously was the sub in last year's grand final. Points is going to go high and long towards the 50. Spoiled weight there from Majacek. McInerney went through. Rayner didn't glove the, the handball too well and then dropped it. The goalie spinning through a couple of tackles, but then got dragged down. Free kick, Brisbane. They can go here quickly here, McCarthy. Doesn't have a lot of options. He decides to go long now. Finds Lockie Neal again towards 60. Higher ball towards Hipwood in a two-on-one. One-two. Couldn't grab it. Nearly got pushed out of it. Cameron fighting hard with McCluggage. Got around the handball. Cameron usually dangerous in this position. Kicked it across the goal face and threw for a point. So Brisbane kind of peppering in this second term. They've had a couple of opportunities. He's only got the one goal to show for it, though. So Noble take the kick in here for Collingwood. So he wants to go long on the outer side. Towards McGuinness. Good mark. Great take from McGuinness. Got in front. Took a good grab. Wants to give it off to Noble. He gives it now. Noble goes long with the kick towards Cox. Lester gets there. Not a good spoil at all. Dunkley went in hard and he'll get a free kick for a high one. So Josh Dunkley. Been a bit down on form so far. A lot of Brisbane players with him though. Short kick. He finds my cluggage. He's had a good second term so far. High ball again towards Hipwood. Good spoil there from Moore. Ricochets to Berry. Now they get it out the back. Hipwood. Handball over the top to Bailey. Try to step Frampton. Couldn't do so. Great pressure there from Collingwood. And pin holding the ball. So Frampton gets the free kick in the defensive 50. So they're locked on this outer side here, the Pies. Frampton goes long. Danaher and Cox. Danaher almost got tunnelled. Did really well, though. Dacos handles the forward for McGuinness. Almost kept it in bounds. Just gets out of Josh Dacos's grasp. Great pressure there from Frampton. Good, good work there from Darcy Moore to get that second... To be the second tackler, lock it in. And Craig McRae loved it. Been under pressure last few weeks, Craig McRae. Probably the most pressure he's felt as the coach so far. Fort taps it down. Towards Robertson, who got the kick away. But Nick Dacos stands under it. Good mark. He wants to go. Inside kick is dangerous. Puts Mitchell under a lot of pressure. Archie oh, did really well to cause the pressure. Handball from Zorko to Rayner. He gets tackled by two pies and gets dragged down. Got a bit lucky there, Rayner. He had a chance to get rid of the handball. But another, another breakdown in the middle of the ground from another... Well, I mean, Collingwood as well. Dacos' kick was a suicide kick. He's lucky he didn't... Get his teammate, buddy, knocked out there. If Robertson gets pinfold in the ball, Lipinski will get the free kick. <laughs> Just on the defensive side of the middle of the ground here for Collingwood. So it goes back to Quainer, who wants to go out to Maynard now. He finds him. 11 minutes still to go in the second term. Heaps of time. Brisbane have dominated the majority of it. We've only got one goal to show for it. One goal, three to be exact. So Maynard now takes his time. Goes long towards 50. 
Andrews gets there first, couldn't bring it down. Fletcher coming through. Great tackle there from my check. So Cox tap out wide towards Mitchell, couldn't get there into the umpire. Call here for a throw in. So just outside Collingwood's forward 50. Cox won it down, Neil at the back to Zorko. Now Dunkley gets the kick away towards the wing. One on one here for Frampton. Did well to knock it to the ground. Moore goes in hard. Robertson overran it. Sitting on it. And he gets ball up. Sorry, I thought the crowd called for holding the ball. Fort Little tap down. Dunkley couldn't bring it with him. Robertson stepped past Cox. Got the handle out to Ford. Got it smothered well there by McRae. Lipinski tried to get the kick away. Ricochets out the back. Hoskin Elliott. Now Mitchell went for the long kick out the outside of his boot. And goes out in the fall. So Brisbane with a chance here. He goes in short. Zorko back towards the middle. Finds Lester. So looking to switch it now to Lions. Andrews in short, not the best kick, made, him, made his teammate work for it. But Zorko did well. He goes long towards Fort in a one-on-one. -on -one. Couldn't bring it down. Robertson did well to get it back to his feet and get it back on the boot. High ball towards the top of the goal. Square Danaher couldn't bring it down. It goes ricochets to Bailey. He's socking it forward. Dacos sits on it. And it's called for a ball up. No, free kick for a high. Another chance there for the Lions goes begging. The kick from Josh Dacos is terrible. Nick Dacos just kept it inbounds for the moment. Takes his full measure. Long kick going back with the flight. It was Lester who did well. The Lions can bomb it back in there once again. Low ball inside the forward 50 for Danaher. Three on one. Did well to spoil it away there. Collingwood. Now Maynard slapped it forward. Finding Bobby Hill. One, two. Grabbed it in the third grab. Handball away was not the best. Dunkley. Back to Wilmot. Step two of them. Broke the ankles of a couple of Collingwood defenders. Little shit kick there. Couldn't find Hipwood. Mitchell. Handballs it out wide towards Noble, who just got the kick away towards the wing. One-on-one -on -one gets at the back of them. Answorth dragged down by Schultz. Free kick's going to go to my check in front, though. So Collingwood finding a way to repel the pressure from Brisbane at the moment. Their kicks inside the forward 50, if I'm being honest, though, from Brisbane have been absolutely woeful. So Josh Dacos, short, finds Mitchell. Been one of Collingwood's best so far. Inside kick, finds Maynard. So now towards centre half forward there. Five deep was Andrew. He's got a little spoil away. McRae, good tackle on Neil. And a true centre half forward here. Umpire calls for it. So Cox thumps it forward, Barry. Gathered it on a second attempt. He'll get the free kick. They're at seventy percent in their forward half, Brisbane in this set in their second term. Only a one goal for it though. Their inside fifties have not been great at all. So Berry goes in short to Zorko. He's been so good so far. Wide ball finds Lester. He's got Bailey on the run. Finds him. He wanted to go but just didn't have an option. So he just little chip kick finds Fort. Been all right so far, Darcy Fort. He turns and goes towards the pocket more in the perfect spot. Hipwood beaten again. So more now. Long ball towards the wing once again. Cox sitting under it. Good spoil there from Payne. Dacos, good take. Gives it off to Degoe. Tries to get it down the wing. Couldn't grab it. Was Answorth. Bobby Hill with the pace. Zorko did well. Starskovic got the handball out somehow and found Zorko. And now Brisbane can go. Inside kick was nice. Found Archie. Archie wants to go. A little short kick is nice. 
Finds Charlie Cameron being pretty quiet so far. He wheels and goes. One on one is Danaher. Just overran it a little. Gets out the back to Hipwood. Who kept it in bounds only for a moment though. And it's inside Brisbane's forward 50 once again. Twelve inside fifties to two in this quarter, in favour of Brisbane, and only one goal to show for it. Collingwood yet to kick one themselves, but they've only been in there twice. They've looked dangerous both times they've been in there, though. So now Cox gets the tap down, but but not the best. Fletcher tries to slap it forward. Now McCarthy handball out wide, just out of the grasp of McCluggage. Six and a half minutes to go in this second quarter. So Cox will slap down for Dacos. Couldn't get there in time. And again, it'll be another stoppage. <clears throat> McInerney did well off the Fletcher. Just jams it on his boot inside the forward 50. Archie going back. Couldn't bring it down. McCarthy did well. If he keeps his feet, he's away. Tucked up in the forward pocket. Hooks it across the face. Great kick and finds Charlie Cameron. Great work from McCarthy. He could have just got it on the boot with a lot of pressure on his back. But decided to hook it across the goal, the goal face. And found Charlie Cameron. Great work. And they really need this here, the Lions. They have dominated this second quarter. Cameron only had the five touches so far and he's kicked a point. Had a pretty quiet start to his year as well. But now Cameron comes in. 45 degree angle, 20 metres out. Jams it home. And the Lions get their second of the quarter. And John Denver plays across the cover. You love to hear it. So back in the middle. McInerney wins it down to Neil. Great take. And now Wilmot. They're running with a bit of pace now, the Lions. Sends a high ball back inside the forward 50. Danaher going back. Couldn't bring it down. Good spoil there from Howe. McCarthy gets there first. Good tackle from Dacos. Somehow got the handball free. Barry broke past Dacos. And then Howe as well. Really great job. Long kick inside the forward 50. Wasn't so great. But Billy Frampton will get the free kick in the back pocket. Just over five minutes to go on this second term. Brisbane have quite a lot of time here to take the lead back with the amount of momentum they have at the moment. Long kick, Andrews overran it a little, gets out the back to McQuarrie, the speedster. He's got Wilmot tracking him down, just to a bad bounce there, McQuarrie, and then lost the ball. And then McQuarrie tries to take out his frustration on Lockie Neal. Would have been a super exciting run between McQuarrie and Wilmot, but it just the bounce didn't bounce back up to him. Ball didn't obey. So forward half the wing here for Collingwood. McInerney wins it down. Bailey ran into Neil and the ball ricocheted for Lockie Neil. Dacos dragged him down, did well. Now he's sitting on a little. Umpire circle is going to call for a ball up. Game's risen quite a lot in this second term. It's a bit of a quiet first term. Collingwood dominated so much of it. But despite Brisbane dominating, Collingwood have been in this second term. Handball to Berry wasn't the greatest. And then Lipinski gave it back to him. Said, I'm sorry, here you go. Now Bailey, low kick was nice. Found Danaher. He wants to go. Now gets on that left boot. High ball inside the forward 50. Charlie Cameron! Oh, he went up. Couldn't bring it down, though. 
That would have been a mark of the century if he took that. Going a 180 pirouette in midair with one arm. Oh, that would have been amazing. So back in the ruck, Danaher taps it down towards Cameron. Quainall with the pressure. Danaher drags him down, takes him over the line. This is the type of game we wanted to see. High pressure from both teams. Just over four minutes to go in the second quarter. So forward pocket here. Cameron pushed him under it. McCarthy just threw a boot at it. Goes across the face. Quain all taps it forward. Couldn't grab it. There was Will Oscar and Elliott. And now Cameron coming through. Just missed it. Should have kicked that there, Cameron. You would almost put your house on him kicking that. And he just missed it. So Howe goes long towards Cameron. Did well to get away from McInerney. Maybe he didn't. McInerney will get the free kick. A lot of things going Brisbane's way at the moment. And McInerney wants to send it back in there. High ball towards the top of the goal square. Danaher overran it. Moore fists it away, but straight to Berry, who gives it off to Bailey. Tucked up in the pocket. Towards the top of the goal square. Brisbane have the numbers. Good spoil there from Hotskin Elliott. Hill off to Quainer. Inside out, a kicks it outside the defensive 50. Starskovich did well. He has some time here. Has a lot of options. Short little kick was nice. Found Huma Kluggich. Usually a pretty good user. Did well to step past Elliott. Sends it inside the forward 50 again. Rayner coming across. Couldn't bring it with him. Almost stole it out of there. Danaher did well with the handball. Great little take from McCarthy. Fletcher around the corner. Towards goal and he nails it. Oh, here come the Lions. Great snap from Fletcher. And they're only down by two. They're finally getting some reward for their effort here, the Lions. They've got three goals in the quarter now. And they very well could take the lead at half time if they continue this sort of form. They're a lot cleaner on this ball as well. There's been a lot of times where they, where Brisbane have fumbled in the especially the first quarter. But a couple of clean grabs, and it's easy as you like. So back in the middle once again. Cameron with the tap down. Dunkley slapped it forward for McInerney. Couldn't bring it with him. Cameron just sockers it off the ground. Only goes as far as Neil. Outside kick may actually work. Tough bounce there for Archie, but he gathered it well. Back inside does okay. Inside the forward 50. Rayner did well to bring it to ground. Robertson tried to spin out of trouble. Great tackle from Quainer. Just got the handball free, Maynard. It's Josh Dacos. Outside handball to Frampton. He kicked it on the fall. Great pressure from the Lions. And now Frampton drags him to the ground. He could be in trouble here, Frampton. He wouldn't want to give away a 50. Get a bit grumpy here from both sides. Inside kick. Collingwood are too busy fighting. Brisbane have the numbers here. McCarthy couldn't get it away. How did well. To Gully clearing ball outside the defensive 50. Only for the moment, though. Andrew's tracking it down, and he's happy to see it out. So now Collingwood need to respond. So just in front of the Collingwood interchange gates, the umpire throws it in. Cameron with a little tap down. McQuarrie should get there first. He gets the free kick. So Chris Fagan probably breathe a little bit easier in this at half time. Not too much though. He'd like his response from his team in this quarter though. So McQuarrie. Long ball. Maya check over. Ran it. Good mark there from Andrews. Hasn't taken many intercept marks so far. It's just his fourth touch of the game. So back inside the defensive 50. Wilmot tripped over his own feet somehow. Did okay to recover. And then short little handball to Zorko. And he finds Dunkley. So they try again in the Lions. Short kick finds Wilmot. 
He's got an inside kick and Leicester decides not to go there. Goes long towards the one-on-one. -on -one. Misses both of them. He gets out the back and out of bounds. So just over a minute and a half in... Just over a minute and a half in this first half. Collingwood would just like to hang on, I think, till half time right now. Brisbane would love to take the lead going into half time. They do kind of deserve it as well. They've been really good in the second term. So back in the ruck. McInerney, little slap out the back out the front towards Dunkley. He just couldn't gather it. But just outside the forward 50 here, will this be this throw-in will come. So a minute and a half to go. Back in a little slap down. Neil coming through nicely. Did really well to read that one. High ball towards the top of the goal square. One-on-one -on -one is Cameron Maynard. Look for the ball. Cameron the body then left it behind. Fletcher jams it on the boots. But he just couldn't get the bend on it. Lockie Neil has really risen in this second term. Brisbane have wasted a lot of opportunities on the second turn. They've kicked three goal five. They easily could have had a lot, easily had three more goals. So now Penelbury takes the kick in here, goes long on the outer side towards Majacek. Did want to push Andrews under it, couldn't get the ball though. Now Dacos. Ricochet towards him and he does well with it. Low ball towards the wing, but Staskovic is there. And Brisbane just want to go. Inside kick to Lockie Neal. He's been brilliant in this second quarter. Off to McCluggage in the middle of the. Gabba out wide towards Fraught. Did well there, Darcy Moore. Hairball from Oskillian. Back to him wasn't so great. Fletcher tried to push Moore away from it. Sitting on it a little. Did well to get the handball out to Hoskin Elliott. Now Pendlebury. Looping handball was dangerous. And Robertson read it well. Just stops it off the ground inside the forward 50. Cameron blocked the bounce. But then he's got into a lot of trouble here. Rainer drags him down. And he's gone. Oh, Brisbane have lifted all right. And Maynard tries to wave the Collingwood flag. But Brisbane will get the free kick. So it probably will be half time as Rainer takes this kick here. And it may well boil over at half, to at half time if they keep on going. Maynard trying to fly the flag for the team. But he's definitely not impressed. He thought Cameron had to get rid of that. Went to go get get rid of it, and then he dragged it back in, and then he was in trouble. So Cam Rainer kicked the first goal of the game for the Lions. Had 10 touches so far. Had a pretty good start. But the siren's about to sound as Cam Rainer comes in. To give the Lions the lead, Cam Rainer kicks towards goal. Looks pretty good. Listen to that roar at the cover. Cam Rainer drives it home. And they take the lead at half time. So at half time, the Lions lead 5 8 38 to the Magpies. Scoreless in that quarter 5 3 33. Alright, guys, we'll be back in about 20 minutes or so with the second half.
Like, what happens if, like, someone goes up for a specky on his back and knees him right in the back, like, knees him right in that area? Yeah. Fuck knows what's going to happen. But that's basically all the breaking news stuff that we needed to cover, guys. So, before we get into the main part of the episode, Big R Designs, our very own football print company, is your one-stop shop for all your footy prints. We have designs for every single team, from Gold Coast to the Giants to Collingwood, Sydney, any team, you name it, we've got it. We're going to be making some more designs in the future, probably some for the Tasmania Devils as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, click the link down below if you want to check out some of the designs. And if you use the code BRPOD, you'll get 10% off your purchase, guys. And also, I wanted to quickly mention as well, thank you for the support on the latest um, video essay mini doco from the Saints video that I've made. I know some St. Kilda fans probably aren't the happiest, but it was more the fa- it was more just about the history of... Um, the St. Kilda Football Club as a whole. So um, I hope you do, did enjoy it. If you haven't seen it, make sure to go check it out. If you did and you you know shared it to a friend, I really do appreciate it. But let's get into the Essendon Edge situation. So midweek um, before the game between Sydney and Essendon, Essendon came out and basically said they've got this new mantra of Essendon Edge, where they're playing on the edge, basically, and how they're going to be very tough. And then uh, after they kicked two goals in the game against the Swans, the incident between Harry Cunningham and Peter Wright happened when Peter Wright collided with Harry Cunningham who was coming back with the flight. And obviously Cunningham came off, he was concussed. There was reports after the match as well that he had memory loss and a very scary situation for Harry Cunningham. It's a very tough situation because I get the side of like, oh, he's bracing for impact. I get the side of that. But I at this stage now... It doesn't matter anymore. Mm. That's the thing. People are making the argument of like, oh, well, Maynard got away with it last year. Did you not see at the start of the year when the AFL came out and said, from now on, you have to take... The the highest priority is the player... The safety of the players, basically. Mm. So, even though Peter Wright may have been bracing for impact... It doesn't matter. He's going to get weeks. Now, this is being recorded on a Monday, so Tribunal comes out Tuesday night. So by the time this comes out on Wednesday morning, everyone will know what happens. I'm expecting four weeks. What do you think about Peter Wright? I think he's going to get four, minimum three, um, basically because of what happened um, before the season with the the rule change from the Maynard situation. I think as well with the Brayshaw... Like, he retired after a football act that yeah. Maynard did. Yeah. So, the AFL... Obviously, a duty of care with the AFL has to be done. But the AFL have also got to remember about... They've got lawsuits going through about, like, head knocks and stuff from the players, uh, ex-players and stuff. So, they have to think about their pockets as well. Because the, the player... If... Let's say Harry Cunningham comes back 30 years later, or 20 years later, with CTE, has a huge bunch of problems... He can sue if the AFL don't take, you know, adequate precautions or whatever. Mm, So they have to think about that as well. Now, on my opinion, now I know the Swans, I'm a Swan supporter. I know people are just going to take that and say that my opinion doesn't matter. I think that if if you want to take the point of like, oh, he was bracing for impact and all that sort of stuff, maybe Essendon shouldn't have came out midweek and said they're just going to be like, they're going to use this Essendon edge mantra. And then... To prove that as well of how much the, 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 I don't want to say dirty, but the fact that Sam Draper in the next quarter plays a very dirty act on Jack Lloyd when he takes a mark and just pushes him over. Mm. So if you want to sit there and act like, you know, Peter Wright was 100% going for that ball and didn't want to make a physical, alter, didn't want to make it, make it feel like Cunningham's going to earn this, mm. maybe don't come out midweek and say that we're going to be like doing this mantra of Essendon Edge. That's my yeah. thoughts on it. Because if you're going to come out and make that sort of statement, if that sort of situation is going to happen, then people are obviously going to come out with the fact of like, oh, they're playing dirty. Mm. I think that's a pretty fair statement to have. And I also think as well, that situation, let's not act like that's not happened on a football field before where two players collide. But the player who's coming, who's going for the mark in contest, the forward, doesn't, except it doesn't is the different act they make is they go to spoil yeah you know why do you, I know that obviously there's different altercations and it's milliseconds of time 
But there are players in the same situation in games around, probably in the round as, as well, that a player coming back with the flight, they saw that coming, and instead of going for the going for the shoulder, the bump, well, to brace or bump, they go to fist and spoil, or mm. they got their hands up and try to mark it. Yeah. So I think Lee Matthews said as well that you know you're not going to take a mark if your arm if you tuck your arm in and bump, put your elbow out. Mm. So yeah. look, I don't think that Peter Wright was intending to knock out Harry Cunningham, but I do think. He was trying to show some physical pressure early. That's just what my thoughts are. I know it's very tough to seem unbiased as a Swan supporter. When I first saw it, I was fucking dirty about it. As I cooled down about it, and that's why I didn't really say much in the review, because I was still pretty hot about it, about the, the, the altercation that happened. I don't think that Peter Wright meant to injure Harry Cunningham, but I do think he wanted to be physical. Yeah. And it obviously just came off as the way it happened. So, and to anyone who says, oh, the AFL's getting soft if he gets weeks, you're a fucking moron. I'm sorry, but if you honestly, if, let's say that's your kid, Harry Cunningham, that's your kid. Because the people who are saying that are either Essendon supporters or above the age of 45. Because yeah. back in my day, Dermot Brereton would, would thump people in the head and he would, and that was like real tough footy. We always thought he was tough. Yeah, bro. Also, 40 years ago, people didn't know this, the like the huge amount of issues that happens with concussion. Mm. So, yeah. The people... Imagine if that was your kid going back with the flight and, and a, 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 another kid, Peter Wright, knocks him out in yeah. that same instance. Then have that thought of like, oh, fuck. That's terrible. He needs to take a duty of care. Yeah. That's just where I'm sitting. And for, for that reason as well, if you look at it, it's this is in the AFL. So you've got all you've got the best um sort of doctors at the at the ground and the um support staff there at the ground. You're not gonna have that in country football. You're not gonna have that at the local footy match. Yeah. Or even in the um second tier leagues. You're not gonna have the best for every single team. So you've got to think about it like that that they had the duty of care to know what was happening, and they kn- knew what they were doing. Like they knew the best treatment for it was to just get them off, get him off the ground, and he just couldn't move. He didn't move, and if the, and also like at the like in country football, like you said, like um, family members, they're not going to think, oh well, it's okay. He was going back with the flyer. It's okay. The guy, the forward, was tucked in and um, bracing himself. And bracing himself. They're not going to think that. That'd be ropeable if yeah. that was the parent that their, their, their kids just on the floor, on the ground like that. Yeah, no way. has memory loss and yeah. fucking doesn't even know where he is. That's just where I think as well. Like obviously the AFL is the highest of the highest, but there are obviously kids growing up. There's country footballers watching this and that, and when they see that sort of instance happen, they probably th- there would be some sort of people who'd be like, oh well, that's okay to do because I've seen AFL players do it. Mm. I'm sure that's a thing that happens like you can even think about kids like obviously having like I think it's just like if you teach if the players in the game the AFL players go up and go to spoil like what happens there if if he puts the knee up into his back let's say Peter Wright puts the knee into his back and fists the ball I don't think the same thing happens because Harry Cunningham gets an elbow to his head Mm. he doesn't get an elbow to his head if Peter Wright goes and puts the fist through the ball. Yeah. That's just w- where I sit on it. Again, I understand if people think I'm biased. I just think at this day and age, he's not going to get away with it. There's no way in hell he gets zero weeks. Mm. I think that's just... I think that's obvious. And I can't believe people are still thinking there's a chance of this happening. And I think Essendon are trying to combat this to be zero. So it shows how much they gave a fuck, mm. let's be honest. I mean, at least with... Uh, look, obviously it's different to Jimmy Webster. I don't think it was like that. I'm not thinking it's that no. bad. But... At least when Jimmy Webster did something like that and sent someone with a huge concussion issue, at least he took it on the chin and said, look, I'm going to take whatever they give me. Yeah. But obviously, you know, it's it's two very different situations. I'm not competing. I'm not comparing those two incidents together. But let's move on. We'll move on from the SNN Edge stuff. Actually, no, one more thing about the SNN Edge stuff. I totally agree with Tom Papley's point of fucking, you got to back it up in the game. Mm. And I think they got to... They, their head was too much about the Essendon Edge stuff, especially going into that second half, that they just lost 
all structure around, especially in defensive 50 and their defensive structure, because Sydney just dominated. They just cut through them. Yeah. So I know you didn't see the game, but Sydney in the second half just cut through them and they kicked, what, 20 odd goals in the end? Kicked 131 points. Yeah. And Essendon struggled for quite a while with their defence. So they can have this Essendon edge tactics and stuff. Not so much the dirty stuff, like Draper's push. Mm. But if they want to keep a toughness around them, that's great. But you've also got to back it up on the field. Because if they... Let's say they keep this mantra of like really toughness or whatever. And they go to the end of the season and they've won eight games. whoop de doo We've not made finals again. Yeah. So... I don't mind it, but the first two games, they only just beat Hawthorne because Hawthorne couldn't kick straight, and then they've lost to Sydney. Mm. They get St. Kilda next week, big game for... Uh, well, this week, big game for them. But I will be very interested to see how long this Essendon edge lasts, but also if it's if it doesn't work, if they're going to get rid of it and then turn back to the soft bombers that we've seen for such a long time. Mm. So I think they're just going to find that middle ground. But let's move on. The reigning premiers, Collingwood, are 0-3. and three. Don't smile too much, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting now because, obviously, 0-2, and two, everyone was expecting them to bounce back because they played against the Giants and the Swans, two of the probably best-formed teams at the moment. Mm. Then they lose to St. Kilda. I guess it does beg the question, will Collingwood turn it around? I... Um... Because now... Sorry... They are playing Brisbane this week yeah. as well, up at the Gabba. Yeah. <laughs> Such a big it's, game. It's probably the one team you don't want to face when you're in a slump yeah. at the Gabba. You don't want to play Brisbane at the Gabba in a slump. Yeah, because they'll make every single little error look even worse. Yeah, and the fact is that Brisbane aren't playing that well either. Yeah, both teams need a win here. Yeah, so it's going to be a huge game come up, but yeah, it's not a team you want to play. Do you think Collingwood can turn it around? I think they can. I don't know if it's going to be this week, but you can pretty much count top four goodbye if they lose this week. Yeah, I agree. Because you need to... I think you can only cost yourself five games to make the top four. Lose yeah, I think five, six, is probably six. The yeah. six is probably the yeah. most amount of losses you can have. And if they go zero and four, they're going to have to get on a run yeah. too. I think as well, Collingwood's just lost all the like, attributes that they had going last year. Mm. Like their f- like for their forward sort of structure and stuff, they had so much pressure on the ball. They had the ball was always getting to ground as well from their forwards. Like the tools that they did have, mm. they were always getting the ball to ground so their smalls could work, get on the get on the move. Lockie Schultz has had a really poor start to his career. At the yeah, I, I think it's it's really poor. Like he's not played like this. Since, he never played like this at Freo since he, since he got a regular start at the Freo side. He hasn't played like that yeah. since he pl- since this year. Like, yeah, and I think it's I think it is very interesting. I I like we we've sung his praises for for all the way through the off season, saying that Lockie Schultz could be the recruit of the year. All well, kinds I didn't think of that, but that was you. But hey, yeah. you sung his praises. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> oh yeah, but I didn't think he was going to be recruited of the season. But oh, all right, whatever. Yeah. yeah, you were too busy thinking it was going to be a South Radicalier or something. No. One of the port ones. No. <laughs> anyway, um, I, he's had a pretty poor start, but he's obviously not alone. No. And Nick Dacos on the weekend had a shocker. I'm I'm sorry, but it's it was his worst game of his career. Yeah, with all the fucking co- um, praise on him during the week last week on his fiftieth game, mind you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he played his fiftieth game, and it was his shittest game. Yeah, and his start of the season has been really poor. Yeah, and for the fact that someone like a David King comes out uh, half of the weekend and says, "Oh, it's okay. He only had a few bad moments, but <laughs> he, he's still a good player." No, he's playing like dog shit at the moment. And that game, he was. He, I'm not gonna. I'm, I don't care. I'm gonna say it. he was playing soft football. There were so many times in that game that he was should have put his body on the line or. Um, been a team player and he wouldn't go in for the contest t- take a good tackle go for a mark or he just got the cheap cheap, cheap football and yeah. he didn't get a lot of disposals and it showed because he didn't get the kick he didn't get the kick outs either yeah so alrighty guys we're back here with the second half
Oh, good. How you doing, Ducky? So, Colin, we get the first goal of the second half. Bloody stream was off for like a few minutes, which bloody annoyed me. I didn't realise. So big goal from Collingwood there, get them back in front. So back in the middle. Cox with a knockdown, does a little second tap down, did well. Zorko coming off the back of the stoppage, gets the ball forward, penalty. Sockers it back where it was. Schultz, good pick up, goes off the handball. Hoskin Elliott sends it inside the forward 50. Andrews went up well. Strong hands, takes a good mark. Wide kick, just inbounds for Berry. Very close to the boundary line. But he wants to go. Long kick towards Rayner. Good hands. Brisbane got a little bit of overlap here. Not the greatest kick from Rayner. Danaher had to duck out of trouble. Good tackle coming from Frampton. And he gets pinned holding the ball. Good, good decision from the... Um, oh, it wasn't holding the ball. I thought it was going to be pinned, actually. I thought he should have been. How you doing, Ducky? Tap down there for McInerney. Couldn't bring it with him. Neil. A little bit of push and shove at the moment. Cox with the tap down. Zorko got tackled well. So Cox with the fist. Tries to get it to space. The guy couldn't run onto it. Zorko did well. He'll get the free kick for it as well. He's had a really good game day in Zorko. Inside kick was nice. Found Berry. He's got Zorko again, who just kept on running. Kick towards 50 from to Danaher was nice. And Danaher takes the mark right on 50. So Joe Danaher. A long way out here. I do think he has the distance in him, though. He's looking in board. That's where he goes now. Chips it to the top of the goal square. Don't know if a lot of people were ready for it. They cost him what to bring it to ground. Berry threw that out. Great tackle there from Noble. He's had a good game so far. Am I good at footy? I mean, I used to be. So Noble wants to go wide and long. Is it too wide? It is. So Brisbane want to send it right back inside the forward 50. So Payne sends it back inside the forward 50 again. Hipwood went up a bit early. 1-2 McInerney claims it. Great mark for McInerney. So McInerney tucked up in the left forward pocket. Tough kick for any player, let alone the Ruckman. Usually not the worst kick at goal though, but this is tough. So now McInerney looking to go with the drop punt kick tucked up in the pocket. He's kicked it across the face, still in bounds. Brought to ground, Dacos, little handball away towards Maynard. Archie tracks him, Maynard just gets the ball onto the boot. Trickles at a good 15 metres and the umpire pulls for the ball in. So Brisbane currently have 20 more inside 50s to Collingwood. 
They had 21 in that second term to Collingwood's only two, and Collingwood still have the lead. Brisbane really wasted it in that first half. So Cox got a fist onto it, does it a second time. Archie slaps it forward. Rayner, good handball out wide towards Bailey. Stepped out of trouble and stepped into trouble, and Hal takes him over the line. Could be pinned. And he pins him holding the ball. So Jeremy Howe will take the kick here in the back pocket. Long ball towards Cox. Couldn't bring it down McInerney. Bit of trouble here. Dragged down from Cox. So McInerney a little tap. Cox tapped through his legs, found McRae. Dribbling ball towards the wing. Payne got there first, got it back on the boot. Dribbling ball back to Noble. They work through hands here, the Pies. Dacos back to Pendlebury. Short little kick was nice. Found McRae. So McRae, short little kick inside, finds Maynard. He wants to go in short again. So Pendlebury, they're just working it short. Trying to find the opening here, Collingwood. Quainer, little short kick to Elliott. Play on to the call. Didn't really know about it until a little bit too late. Just gets it on the left boot inside the forward 50. My check was held. He'll get the free. And a chance here for Collingwood to an extend to a seven-point lead here. So Majacek setting up to go around the corner. Had a pretty quiet start to his year. Chance here for his first. So Majacek around the body. Looks pretty nice. He nails the goal and Collingwood take a seven point lead. So it looks like Jack Crisp has come onto the ground. Now, he was the sub at the start of the game for Collingwood. I'll quickly see who's been subbed out here. Well, it's not even ready, so that's that's, that's just great. Um, is timeline, maybe? No, they haven't even got it either. Okay, so I don't know who's been subbed out just yet. So a little bit high there on McInerney. Neil couldn't get rid of the handball. Great tackle from Pendlebury. Pins him holding the ball. Looks like Finlay McRae's been subbed out here for Collingwood. So now Pendlebury. Good smother there from Lockie Neal. The pressure's risen in this game. McCluggage around the body towards Cameron in a one-on-one. -on -one. Maynard hailed. And he'll get the free kick. Neal limping up a little bit right now. May have rolled his ankle. He looks like he's trying to run it out. I think he'll be all right. But a free kick's going to go to Charlie Cameron here. Two good kicks away from goal. So he goes in short. Great work there from Dugowie. Fisted out of bounds. Oh, yeah. He fucking... Oh, that's not good. He rolled his ankle there. So just outside the Brisbane 50. McInerney with the front spot, working hard. Dunkley gets it inside the forward 50. Tumble punt. How did well to cover that. Gives it off to Quainor. Out wide to Bobby Hill. Been pretty quiet since the first quarter with his three goals. So a wide looking kick. Goes to Elliott. Doesn't have any options down the line other than Mason Cox. So he looks like he's going to switch the play. Back to Quainor. Quainor, nice looking kick. Finds Jack Crisp, first touch for him since getting onto the ground. Of course, against the former side, played a few years at Brisbane before going up to, or going down to Melbourne. Long kick inside the forward 50. Cox couldn't get in front. Bailey slaps it back to Leicester. Hill holds him up.
So Cameron Little tapped down to Hoskin Elliott, trying to break through the tackle. Good tackle, though, from Barry. You're not going to break many of them. So sub for Brisbane, by the way, is Kai Lohman. Front of the tap down, Barry gets the clearing ball. Going back with the flight was Dunkley. Good courage, good mark. Immediately wanted to go. Gives the handball off to Barry. Long kick towards fourth. Did well to bring it to ground, though. Moore had the good positioning, but he couldn't bring it with him. Robertson at the back to Bailey. Handball towards McCluggage. Wasn't the greatest. Had to make him reach for it. Eventually got it back to Bailey. Robertson got dragged down by the guy. Broke him away. Did really well. Little handball underground to Dunkley. Did gave Robertson no chances on that one. Did really well to gather it. Fort. Little handball to Fletcher. Almost tackled without it. Bailey. Gives it out to Neil. They're working through hands somehow here, the Lions. McCluggage spun out of trouble, then got into trouble himself. Not the best looking play, and Collingwood recover it nicely. Dacos, little kick to Bobby Hill. He wants to go long, but he didn't have the leg in him to get it to Elliott. Cut off well there by Andrews. Game's lifted another notch here. Dunkley, short little kick, finds Bailey. They want to go here, the Lions. Short little kick finds Neil. They're at 55 now. McCluggage got an option in short. It's Joe Danaher. And he hits him up nicely. Great work there, Brisbane. Just weren't as clean on that first look, look inside their forward 50. Just weren't clean with the handball. But that was a lot cleaner. And great work there to find Joe Danaher on the lead. So Jack Danaher been pretty quiet tonight. Only had the six touches and he only kicked one behind. Can he get himself involved? Danaher breaks 50. Absolute mongrel of a kick, but it's actually gone through. That was the ugly duckling of kicks for goal. So they're back to within one point, the Lions. So back in the middle once again. Fort little tap down towards Rainer and Dugowie. Dugowie goes in hard. Good tackle there for Robertson though. So ten and a half minutes to play in this third term. One point the difference. McCluggage did well. Got the ball forward somehow. Good work there from Maynard. And he wants to go out wide towards Josh Dacos. Been a bit quiet since the first quarter. Barry worried him out of it. Then somehow got the ball to his hands. I don't know how he did that. Dove on it? What do you mean? It ricocheted off his foot into his hands. Oh, that's a shocking decision anyway. Noble goes with a long kick. Good spoil there from Starskovich. Ooh, that would have hurt too. So Cameron, little tap down, Neil. Out the back to Rainer. They're under pressure here, the Lions. Got to handle even further back. Miss Starskovich goes out of bounds. So we're under 10 minutes to go in this third term. Ow, ow, ow. Hair caught in my glasses. Fort little tap down. Fighting hard there is Starskovich with Elliot. Fort little tap down. Berry overran it a little. Dacos tried to get the boot off the gr boot off the ground. Fighting hard there is Berry on the ground. Did really well. Wilmot couldn't gather it. Chris did well. Dribbling ball inside the forward 50. Elliot. 
Couldn't get there. Well done there from Zorko. Tapped it back to Fletcher. Didn't really look. Just went a crow over the top of his shoulder. Quainer gathered it nicely, then left the ball behind. Just whacked forward there from the Collingwood defender. Chris could handle out wide to Dacos. Sending it inside the forward 50 once again. Andrews went up a bit early. Schultz. Great tackle there from Zorko. Hill steps past one. Steps past two. Jams it on the boot. But left it out too wide. So Zorko takes the kick in. Finds Fletcher at half back. Short little kick to McCluggage. So he's going to have to go along with this kick, McCluggage. Two on one here. Andrews tried to bring it to ground. Did well. How? Just got a handball out somehow and found Noble who's in, who's in some space. Went to go handball. Found a goey. Tries to go with the tap on here. May work out. Did really well there, Noble. To keep it in bounds. Now Meyer check. Long kick inside the forward 50. Tight ropes the boundary line and Hill takes the mark. So now he'll little short kick into the pocket and Lipinski all on his own. Not the best covering at all there from the Lions and a chance here for Collingwood to get back out by eight. So Lipinski. Around the body on the left, snaps towards goal. He's hooked it too much. Couple of misses now for Collingwood. So taking the kick in here is Wilmot. Goes in short. Dangerous looking kick. Under all tools of pressure to Answorth. Did want to fight back to get the ball. Dacos sockers it off the ground trying to find some meterage. My check went in hard. Lipinski. Little tap out the back to Dacos just out of his grasp. Archie took it well. And Dacos escorts him over the boundary line. Big few minutes here in this game. Still seven and a half minutes to play in this third term, though. Knocked it down, Elliot. Set through one. Almost threw that away towards Schultz. Couldn't glove it cleanly. Did well the lines there to pressure him out of it. Starskovich goes in hard, Hill puts on a lot of pressure, handball out the back, finds Elliott, little handball up, finds Schultz, left football towards goal, on the line is Majacek! Both umpires look, they're not too sure. Umpires call as a mark, it looked like a mark live. So the question is, if he's control it as he's gone down. Oh, all right, we're going to look more longer than that. Oh, it may have bobbled there, actually. Yeah, it looks like it's bobbled a little bit. Maybe. It's too hard to tell, I'm going to be honest. The, the camera angle we have is fucking dreadful. So a mark has been called here. My check was taking a really good mark. Tucked up in the what the uh, left forward pocket here. So Collingwood have had a couple of opportunities in the past few minutes. They haven't been able to take them. My check a big chance here. Snaps on goal, and you knew in your drill it as soon as he got it. Extends the margin out to nine. Great kick there from Majacek. I think that's it. Yeah, that's his only his first goal of the evening. But a great finish in the end.
So Lockie Neal currently with the was with the doctor, looking at his ankle, but he looks like he's all fine. He's back on the field. That's good to see. Cox from a tap down. Pendlebury just dropped it. Got very lucky there. Mitchell Hamill at the back to Cox, who got it on the boot. Towards centre half forward. Going under it. Did really well there was Leicester. So just under seven minutes to play in this third term. He goes to half back, finds Fletcher, who gives it off to Answorth. Got pushed in the back as he kicked it. And it'll come back to Answorth. That's interesting because a lot of this year they've been saying it's downfield free kick. So Answorth goes in short, finds Wilmot. Trying to get into the middle of the ground here. Will potentially switch it now. Andrews, short little kick, only just hit Archie. McGuinness was there to cut that one off. He just couldn't grab it. So he gives it off to Andrews, who works it out wide. Ivan Staskovic. So just trying to get the defense of Collingwood to move around a little bit here, make a mistake. Low ball inside the forward 50. Danaher overran it. So inside the Lions forward 50 here. So Cox in the ruck here with Dana Hurd. Dana her little tap down. Neil tried to get a handball out wide. Only went to Archie. Now Rayner got pushed in the back there. Wasn't paid. Quainer with the kick outside the defensive area for the moment. Andrews gives it off to McInerney. Zorko even further back to Payne. They work it through hands here, the Lions. Andrews to Starskovich. You try to break past Dacos. Great tackle, though. Drags him over the line. So just on the forward side of the wing here for Brisbane. McInerney had his arm completely held there. Wasn't even looked that way, umpire. Neil, handball to Zorko. Got dragged down quickly. Great pressure from the Pies. Mitchell off to Dacos. Inside kick was cut off. And now the Lions can make them pay. Long kick inside the forward 50. Maynard went up. Should have marked it. Just slumped it away. Dacos tried to step past one. Did really well there, Nick Dacos. Inside kick was even better. Good spoil though there coming through his pain. Only as far as Pendlebury. Outside kick to McQuarrie and Lester. McQuarrie has the pace. Lester has the smarts. Really great job there from Ryan Lester. Had to hit that tackle and he did. If McQuarrie got that out into space, he was away. But Lester just locked him up enough. Did really well. So, on the 50 here for Collingwood. Tap down, coming through McQuarrie. Tried to break the tackle. Went for the high one and he got it. Wilmot, not impressed at all. Knew he had to go lower. And McQuarrie a chance here to give Collingwood a 15-point lead. So McQuarrie only had the five touches tonight, but has kicked the goal. So he'll take his full time here to catch his breath. Had a few big efforts in the past few moments. So now McQuarrie will kick on 50 to give Collingwood a 15-point lead. He kicks it straight through.
So a big couple of minutes here in the third term. Brisbane need at least one more to get back into it. McInerney thumps it forward. Robertson overran it. Now Dacos just got it on the boot out wide towards Elliott in a one-on-one. -on -one. Wilmot let it get out the back. And now Collingwood can get away here. Dugowie eventually picked it up. Handball forward towards Mitchell. They've got the overlap here, Collingwood. Elliott tucked up in the pocket. There's no worries about that. Elliott nails the goal and Collingwood looking like their old selves at the moment. Great finish from Jamie Elliott. That sends them out to a 21 point lead. Nearly their biggest lead of the match. So we're back in the middle. Cox with the rock tap did well towards the goalie. The goalie not impressed by something there. I think it's Dunkley holding him. McInerney tried to take it out of the rock. Couldn't bring it with him. Cox got tackled well and let it go. Bailey coming through hard. Got the handball free. Danaher just jams it on the boot. Bouncing ball towards the 50. Eric Kipwood overran it. Went to ground and now Collingwood can repel. Not only that, they can go. The goalie, wanting an option, didn't really have one, so he just puts it on his left boot, high ball, buried it really well, just couldn't mark it. Pendlebury goes in hard, couldn't bring it with him, and now the Lions can go. Bailey gives it off to Berry, just got it on the boot, inside the forward 50 somehow. Moore did really well on Cameron. Thumped it away from him, and it's through for another behind. So now more. Long wide ball on the outer wing. Mychek got there first, couldn't bring it with him. Cox, happy to, for the umpire to take it. Neil went to ground. Could be in trouble here, Lockie Neil. No, uh, umpire gives him a reprieve. McInerney just stole it out of the rock. Gets it inside the forward. Free kick's been called. Hang on. It's going to go to Brisbane back in the middle of the... Back at the stoppage. It looks like Lockie Neal may have been hit... Hit from behind the play. Interesting who did that. But Lockie Neal's got the ball. So... It looks like Pendlebury... Ooh. Won't be much, maybe a fine, but yeah, that would have been... He, he didn't really expect it. Dano coming through, did well. McCluggage, step past one. Clean hands to, Ca to Cameron. Couldn't pick it up very well. He jams it on the boot, swinging towards goal. But he's missed another opportunity there, Charlie Cameron. He's usually brilliant at those snapshot kicks, left or right foot, but he's missed a couple tonight. So, just inside the defensive 50 here, Collingwood. Jeremy Howe has it. Brisbane don't want to put on the pressure here. Ball goes long. Free kick's been ripped out here. I think it's going to go to McGuinness. It will. So, McGuinness had a pretty good start to this game. Had a few touches, kicked an early goal. Hasn't done much since. Works it in short. Finds the goalie. So just over a minute and a half in this third term. The goalie goes long with the kick. Mychek goes back, couldn't bring it with him. Good score there from Payne. Lipinski trying to gather it. Just got the handball free. Cox out to McQuarrie. Tucked up in the pocket. Hooking towards goal. Just didn't get enough on it. Another behind. Next goal is massive in the context of this game. So long ball out towards the wing. Cox, 1-2, got it. 
Looks like a free kick's gonna go Brisbane's way though. No, Billy Frampton's gonna get the free kick here. So now Frampton. Long ball back inside the forward 50. Brisbane have the numbers and McInerney happy to slap it out of bounds. So under a minute to go. Inside Collingwood's forward 50. Both Ruckman are holding. Wasn't paid. Cox got the handball out. Missed. I think it was crisp. Dunkley did well to tap it out of there. Bailey, good pick up. McQuarrie with the pressure. Drags him over the line. Still 39 seconds to play in this third quarter. Taps it down there. McInerney, Neal coming through hard. Schultz drags him down. Crisp did really well. Dunkley fighting hard. No one can get it out of there. Eventually, Neil tried to get the handball free. Dunkley handles it forward. Fighting hard. There was Robertson under everybody. The gully. Let it go. Then drove the head. Noble sockers it out of the ground. Softs it off the ground. And it will be a boundary throw in. 16 seconds to play in this third quarter. The Cox with the tap down. Neil couldn't bring it with him. Schultz trying to work out it. That was a throw against Lockie Neal. Wasn't paid. Berry fighting hard as well. A lot of pressure around the footy. Dugowie trying to break free. Robertson slaps it away. Siren will sound right now. So at three-quarter time, Collingwood dominated the a lot of that third quarter, especially late, and they take a 20-point lead. Collingwood lead 10 Six sixty six to Brisbane six ten forty six. All right, just gonna go to the bathroom. Back in a sec. Sorry.
Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Fucking idiot, I swear to God. All right, guys, so the fourth quarter is about to get underway. Here we go. Can Brisbane fight back? Or will Collingwood get their first win of the season? So umpire thumps it down. McInerney wins the ruck. Penelbury. Handball away. Mistake. Os Rainer coming through strong. Did really well. Left football inside the forward 50 to the leader, Hipwood. It's had a terrible night. Maynard goes in hard, slaps it, try to slap it forward, and off the ricochet of McCarthy goes out of bounds. So just inside Brisbane's forward 50. Dunkley tried to grab it, grab it cleanly, couldn't do so. Nearly did well though. McCluggage out to Berry High. Back to... Oh, a bit unlucky there. So McQuarrie gives away the high tackle, but I think that would have been a... Oh, I think it just was as he kicked, but there's been so many times this year where they've just paid it forward anyway. Nonetheless, Barry gets the free kick just outside the defensive 50. Uh, forward 50, sorry. He goes to the low ball, top of the goal square for the markers. Cameron spoiled it down, but Bailey gets there first. Just couldn't grab it cleanly. Quainer, Hamble towards Schultz. Got a terrible bounce lucky Schultz. Almost threw that away. It did a well to get it off the crisp. Now Collingwood have the numbers. Lipinski. Low ball down the wing was nice. Oh, McGinnis just let it through his hands. Shocked me. Nonetheless, now Brisbane could go on the counter. Great work there from Wilmot. Heard the voice to Fletcher. 
Low ball inside the forward 50 to Hipwood. Did well in the two on one to bring it to ground. McInerney with the smarts. Over the top to Bailey. And the Lions are still a chance. Almost took it a little bit too casually there, Bailey. Almost got dragged down, but just got bo boots a ball late. And that's all that matters. Be my girl. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, hey, baby. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. I wanna know. So we're back in the middle. Cameron with a ruck win. McCluggage did really well to take the ball and get the ball forward again. How couldn't Mark out the back as Dacos breaks past one. Handball over the top looking for the one-two with Mitchell. Did really well there, Nick Dacos. Broke past a couple. Nice little kick inside to Pendlebury. He wants to give it back to Nick Dacos who kept on running. Usually a pretty good ball user inside out of job. Did well there, Payne. Couldn't mark it. Schultz went down and he got a high one. So a free kick going Collingwood's way. He's only got three goals so far in his Collingwood career. Lockie Schultz in his first three games. Went down a little bit low there. Payne didn't get lower. Didn't get low enough. So a chance here to settle a few nerves here for Collingwood. Brisbane got the first goal of a quarter. Lockie Schultz, not much distance to speak of. Kicks for about 45. Leaves it out to the right. It fades back. Not enough though. Hits the post. So now Wilmot, oh, took his full measure. A little bit dangerous, but nonetheless, long kick. Frampton gets there late, spoils it out of the contest. McQuarrie, happy to run it out of bounds. McInerney with a tap down. Berry got tackled well. Had an arm free. The umpire gives him a little bit of a reprieve there. So did well there, Brisbane. They break away. Bailey gets a spiral-looking ball towards centre-half forward, but Howe is there. And they want to go here, Collingwood. Gives it off to Crisp on the run. Wide kick to Lipinski on the bounce. Did really well to gather it. Went to look inside. Doesn't have a lot of options. Eventually found one. Did really well to find that option to Maynard. Now Maynard wants to go. They got the numbers here. Collingwood in the pocket. McGinnis sat under it. Almost got the free kick, Elliot. He did get the free kick, in fact. So McGinnis here. Wasn't subbed out in this game. Giving him a full game here, Reef McGinnis. And a chance here to give Collingwood a 21-point lead. Kick three goals last week, Rhys McGuinness. Had a pretty good start to this one. Hasn't done a lot since, though. This will be a big-time goal, though. Just to settle a few nerves. McGuinness comes in and he's hooked it. He's hooked it a lot. He's kicked it on the full. So Brisbane want to go quickly here. Rayner takes his time. In short, nice find. He finds Answorth. Doesn't have a lot of options, though. He goes with him with a dangerous kick, but it's a really nice kick. He finds McCarthy. Usually pretty good with the link up. He goes in with a low ball. 
Howe just spoiled it away, maybe working to their detriment. McCluggage gives it off to Cameron, back to McCluggage, who broke through the seas and slammed it home. They got two in a row now, the Lions. And my God, are they coming. So a big goal there for Brisbane. Kyle Lohman has been subbed into the game. Devin Robertson has been subbed out. So it's only nine points now. Little tap down to Gully. Little fend off did well on Bailey. And now goes long with the kick. Looking for some meterage. And it goes wide and goes out of bounds. Still heaves the time in this last quarter. Both Ruckman don't get near it. Schultz, little handball over the top. Neither player could gather it. That was McQuarrie and Fletcher. Going in hard, there was Berry. Just handed it to Neil, made it his problem. Now Crisp can be a great finisher. Jack Crisp somehow finds a little bit of space. And he gets a satellite for the Pies. So back in the middle we go. Bailey tried to get it clear. Pendlebury got met hard. Hipwood, great hands. Found Bailey. Little short kick was nice. And he found McCarthy. Lincoln McCarthy should probably go back here. He's usually a good finisher. 15 points to the difference at the moment. So Lincoln McCarthy, they've already kicked two goals in this quarter of the Lions. Collingwood got the last. To keep in touch, Lincoln McCarthy needs to kick this goal. He comes in. No issue whatsoever. He keeps this game tight, Lincoln McCarthy. Back to nine points. Still heaps of time in this one. Nine points to the difference. Both teams wanting their first win of 2024. Chris with the handball out. Did okay. McQuarrie got his kick smothered. Did well there. Lipinski to smack it forward. Zorko did well. Little tap forward to Shaw. Stunkley went in hard. Both teams fighting really hard here. Berry drags down Chris. Bump by calls for it. <laughs> the 
Little tap down again. Bailey went through the legs. Schultz just handles it forward, hoping for someone to get onto it. Zorko, little pirouette. They got dragged down by Elliot. Great tackle from Jamie Elliott. He's had a good night. Zorko spun out of trouble, thought he was away. And then in his blind spot was Jamie Elliott coming at him full bore. Hurt Jamie Elliott a little bit. He's just trying to gather himself. So to extend it back to 15 points, this is a big kick. So Brisbane got the last one. Ken Collingwood get the quick reply. Usually has ice in his veins, Jamie Elliott. And he does now! Collingwood extend it back to 15. Agony little slap towards Zorko missed him. Dacos gets the clearance forward. Wilmot fighting hard. Little tap towards his teammate missed him. Zorko fighting hard though. Handballs it forward to really no one in particular. Dagoe on the left boot inside the forward 50. Great mark going back there was Leicester. They gotta go now, Brisbane. It may only be three goals, but right now Collingwood looks strong. Leicester. Wide kick to Fletcher. Still inside the defensive 50. He's got Dunkley, about 30 metres from him. He decides he wants to go longer than that. Towards the wing. All on his own there was Hipwood, took a good mark. And he wants to go. Handles it to McCluggage. Usually a pretty good ball user. Free man inside the forward 50. McCarthy went up hard. Frampton brought it to ground. Loman, a little smart tap on. Rayner, handles it out to Lincoln McCarthy. Usually a good finisher. He's hooked it too much. So now Dacos wants to go long on this outer wing. Andrews in front, let it out the back. Wilmot McQuery fighting hard. Wilmot went to ground. McQuery trying to dig it out, the ball out. But Umbai calls for it. The pressure's lifted again in from Collingwood. Can Brisbane meet it? Little tap down there from McInerney. Only as far as Lipinski. Now crisp. Went to feign the give and then went on a little bit longer. Long kick inside the forward 50. Brisbane have the numbers here. Leicester just clears it outside the defensive 50. Didn't really look about it. And a chance here for Collingwood to make them pay. Hoskin Elliott has some time. Snapping kick was nice and found Elliott in the pocket. And this would almost seal it. There's still heaps of time on the clock. But I think this kills all the confidence of Brisbane. He's kicked three tonight, Jamie Elliott. He's had a really good night. Senior players needed to respond. He was one of them, and he's had a really good performance. He goes around the body, Jamie Elliott. Trademark Jamie nails it! Big finish. 20 points the difference.
McInerney slapped out the back towards Bailey. Sockers is towards the wing and Fletcher. Held without it for a bit there. Wasn't paid. And now he's pinned him. Oh. What do you mean he dove on it? Dacos pushed him on top of it. Oh, whatever. Dacos kicked towards 50. Payne slaps it away from his opponent. Did well, Neil, to Rayner. Did a little dance step, did well. Now Wilmot loves a little bit of a gallop. Kicks it towards the 50, but it's all Darcy Moore. So Moore wants to go. Wide kick to McQuarrie. He's got a couple of options. Besides, he wants to go long once again. Up for Jamie Elliott! Almost dragged it down. Payne. Under pressure. Elliott still fighting for the football. Lester slaps it out of the danger for the moment. Mitchell to Dacos. Dan stepped one. Kicks the eyeball towards goal. In the goal square is my check. Great grab. If my check kicks this, they'll have a game high 26 point lead. It was a great mark in the end. He had a lot of pressure on him. May have actually had the mismatch, but he did really well to mark it. So there's still nine and a half minutes. But this would almost shut the gate. My check around the body. Oh, he's kicked it to the man on the mark. How did he do that? Brisbane's still alive here. Zorko soccers it off the ground. Rayner goes in hard. Drop the football. They'll get the free here, Collingwood. Just outside 50. Quainer goes in short. Nope. Call back to Quainer. No, it's actually Mitchell now. Short little kick out wide to Dacos. So Dacos now. Points to go long. Into the pocket. My check on his own. One, two. Got it. All on his own, Meyer check. No opponent on him. And his teammates did really well to let him take that. So now Meyer check. A chance to kick it, to respond from that last pretty dismal effort. Well, I guess he wasted a minute off the clock. But Brody Meyer check around the body. Seals it for the pies. So there's still time. It's eight and a half minutes, but it's going to have to be five goals from Brisbane. And they just don't look likely at the moment. So right now, Chris Fagan is, face, is facing down the barrel of a 0-3 and three start to the season. Wood, Cox knocks it down. Wilmot coming through. Hamble got ricocheted towards Crisp. He just sends an absolute mongrel inside the forward 50. Brought down well there by McGuinness. And a stoppage inside Collingwood's forward 50. Dunbar throws it up. Cox, a little tap down, almost took it out of there himself. Try to get boot to ball. Archie does well to Neil. Fain the give inside did well. Antworth. Now to Archie. Long ball down the wing, not the greatest kick. And Frampton in front takes a good mark. So now Frampton wants to go long with the kick. High ball, one on one. McInerney slaps it to ground. Rayner handballs it inside. Missed Dunkley. He has to go back to chase it. My check with the pressure. He missed the handball. Crisp ducked out of trouble. Gives it off to Lockie Schultz. Snapped into the goal square. Oh, whilst Kennelly has dropped an absolute sitter. He still has a chance here. Tries to shake Lester. Short ball out to the back, and My check takes the mark. 
That went about 10 meters, umpire. So Maya check again. This is a chance for his fourth. So he's kicked three goals tonight, Brody Majacek. All on this side of the ground. He comes in now, he's hooked it to the left-hand side. So now Wilmot takes a bounce. Short little ball, finds Neil. They've got to go now, Brisbane. They're 27 points down. Kick inside, a bit dangerous. Frampton tried to cut it off. Dunkley just got the ball away. Rayner gives it towards McCluggage, missed him. He makes him have to go track it back, but he did well. Broke past the goalie. And he works it out wide. Long kick, good find. He finds Fort. They've got an option in the pocket. It's Lohman. Noble did well, but not at the end. So free kick to Kai Lohman in the pocket. They did well there, Brisbane. Lohman's got to kick this goal, though. He's only kicked the one goal in his career. Big chance he'd add to, add to that tally. Lohman, pretty nice kick at goal. Keeps Brisbane in with a sniff. So just under six minutes to play. They need four goals to get to steal an absolutely a miraculous victory in the Lions. Collingwood would have played really well in the second half. McInerney with a tap down. Neil couldn't bring it with him. Mitchell did well. Just thumps the ball forward with the handball. Got a little bit lucky, but Lockie Schultz won't mind. Inside the pocket, McGuinness did well to cause a contest. He gets out the back and out of bounds. Cox, 1-2, tried to take it out of the ruck, couldn't do so. Archie steps through traffic. Absolute tumble punt towards the outer wing. In fact, it's, sorry, the commentary wing. Bobby Hill will get there first. Great pick up, but Wilmot happy to escort him out of bounds. Cox with a tap down. McCluggage breaks past him. Did well. Dunkley inside handball to Zorko. Got a cut off well there by Dacos. Lohman worried him out of it. Did well. Maynard drags him to ground though. They were almost away there. The Lions. Zorko's kick just hit Dacos who smothered it a little bit too easy. Tap down there from Cox. Straight to Hill. Umpire circles for the moment. Wilmot tries to break out of there. Fighting hard there is Lipinski. And the umpire will call for it. So McInerney with a tap down. Found some space there for McCluggage. He wants to go. Hipwood. Long ball inside the forward 50 for Danaher. Good spoil there from Frampton. Danaher kept it in somehow. Did really well with that. How? Great tackle there from McCarthy on Dacos. And no, he didn't. He got him in the back. 
A little bit overzealous there, uh, there, McCarthy. Still four minutes to play. Dacos wants to go long. Towards the boundary. He goes for Hill. Payne overran everybody in the pack. And Andrews will take it out of bounds. So if Brisbane want to steal something out of this game, you'd think it's impossible, but they're going to have to get a goal in the next 30 seconds. Tap down there from McInerney. McCluggish didn't want to break past one little handball. Found Dunkley. They can work it through hands here, the Lions. Now Archie got pushes. He kicked it. They've got the numbers here. McCarthy, good mark. Well, can McCarthy go back, quickly nail this goal? And keep them with a little bit of a pulse. So McCarthy taking his time here. Tough angle. Kicks towards goal. And that may be it. So Nick Dacos. Comes in with the kick, short to Howe. So we're out on the full, so Brisbane now. They want to go. McInerney high ball inside the forward 50. Dan almost hooked that from nowhere. A little bit slow to get up there, Danaher, but he gets up to his feet eventually. So McInerney, a little tap out the back to McCarthy. Bouncing ball, Quainer will smothers that. Did well, Frampton. Back to Quainer, who gets it outside the defensive 50 for the moment. Held a little bit there, Hoskin Elliott. Wasn't paid. My check, handball inside to, to go. He did well. Now Chris wanted to break away. Just got the handball free, Mitchell. We'll get a high free kick. Short kick out wide from Mitchell. Finds McQuarrie. So about two minutes to play in this one. Collingwood look like they very well will get their first win of 2024. McQuarrie goes long with the kick. Cameron couldn't bring it with him. Andrews, 1-2, tried to claim it. Didn't get it paid. Answorth out the back. Too hot for Payne. Chris gets the handball towards Cameron. Too hot for him as well. Dunkley going in hard. check dove on it a little. Umpire calls for it. So just under two minutes to play. Cameron, try to get out of there. Cameron takes it out of the ruck. High ball towards the top of the goal square. Collingwood have the numbers, but they run into each other and Andrews takes the mark. Short little kick to Berry. Berry wide kick finds Neil. Neil wants to go inside. Dangerous looking kick. Hipwood, 1-2, got it. Hipwood wants to go, gives it off to Berry. Wide kick from Berry was nice. Found Lester on the lead. We've got a couple of options inside here, Brisbane. They're less than a minute now. Inside kick to Hipwood. Good pressure there from Collingwood. Fighting it till the end tonight. Long kick inside to Rayner. Couldn't mark. Great pressure from Maynard. Knocked out of bounds. 
And it puts Brisbane in a dangerous spot. They will be none and three. They have North Melbourne next week. That will be in Norwood for gather round. You would expect them to win that, but they need to get on the they need to get a win quickly. Or well, this season will slip away really, really fast. Tap down towards McCluggage. Fighting through there was McCarthy. Couldn't gather it cleanly. How? At the back to Moore. Handball. Loman almost gathered it. Off the ground from Leicester. Hit the boundary post. I don't know. Uh, the point post. I don't know what they're doing. Frampton took his time. Feigned the give and then eventually kicked it away. Neil couldn't mark. Great work from Oscar Elliott. So the umpire throws it in. McInerney couldn't gather it. Fighting, fighting hard. Drag that in there, McInerney. He'll get pinned for that. So Collingwood will get the free kick here. Lipinski will take it. But Collingwood finally on the board in 2024. They've got their first win of the season. They've got the rubber... The They got the run over Brisbane. They brought the pressure. All the pressure they had to take from all week of all the pressure they've been fighting. They came to Brisbane and they won. Their season could get back on track from here. But Brisbane now, an almighty fight to get their season back on track. Alrighty guys, I think we'll end the stream there. It's rinse, rin, rinses, rinses, rinses. Sorry, I can't. I'm, I'm a bit, a bit of a moron, bro. Sorry, but glad that you're calling with one tonight, man. Thanks for watching this stream tonight, guys. Really appreciate it. We may do one more this week. I'm thinking Saturday night, but don't quote me on that. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to this channel. We're so close to 500 subs, so I really would appreciate it. And also. Um, as you can see in the little video thing below my face cam, if you want to look at one of our brilliant football prints from BR Designs, then click the link below. We've got designs for every single team. So make sure you go check them out. The link is in the chat. So, yeah, but thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch us all in the next stream. And uh, what, the podcast, oh, the review of round, um, round three should be out Monday night. So, yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that, guys, and we'll catch us all later.